Araba, Araba boar, <laughs> Araba boar boars in Japan to this lady. So that means he's like a mule, you know? <laughs> he's just transporting the sweet. Hi, Naniwa, everyone. It's you, me. I know, I know. It's been a long time, but please bear with me with the long gap between a video and another video. <laughs> so, happy belated Valentine's Day. How was your Valentine's Day? I had a nice lunch, high tea lunch with my friends, and I'm gonna make another video about the high tea. It was really great. Today, I wanna talk about Japanese Valentine's Day. <laughs> which I don't really like. Since I went to the US, I started not liking Valentine's Day in Japan. And I'm gonna tell you why. So as you may know, Japanese Valentine's Day is the opposite of Western Valentine's Day, where in Western countries, guys will treat girls to a nice romantic date or you know the day to uh, express their feelings mainly from the guys of course from the girls is okay of course it's nice but mainly from the guys and I really like it when I was in the US I was a college student and I've seen all the balloon shops and the flower shops temporarily at the campus and, and it looked really nice but I've never gotten one the first flowers I got is from uh, father of the baby I was babysitting and I was really impressed but I still remember that was the first flower and <laughs> I wish the first flower was given by someone I love you know <laughs> but it was from that father and it, it was still a nice gesture but I still remember that I'm like in Japan, it's totally opposite and I did a survey on my Twitter account said do you do your Valentine's Japanese way, American's way and then my followers are mainly non-Japanese I think and then they said Japanese way is nice, you know, like I wish ours was like that, you know, the girls can express their feelings to guys a lot of people think it's nice I didn't understand for a second, I was like, why the guys do you thought it's so much better and then why uh, so many of my followers think Japanese way is better? And it hit me. In my personal opinion, I think in Western countries, guys usually take actions and take girls out on a date or ask them out. Guys usually do that. That's why it is very important to have one day for girls to take initiative and express their feelings first. That I can understand. That is very nice because guys always do it. The reason why I don't like it that way in Japan is that have you heard of um, Araba, Araba boar? <laughs> Araba boar boys in Japan? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but arbivore is the animal who eat arms. You know, like zebra, and that's arbivore, arbivore. And you know, the opposite word is carnival, lions and tigers and cheetahs and then those animals. So arbo, arbivore, <laughs> arbivore guys in Japan means that they don't take action. They just wait, hoping girls ask them out sometime in the future. <laughs> there are many reasons for that. Maybe in general, our annual income is getting less and less. Average income is less for younger people. They don't have enough uh, capacity mentally and physically, financially to ask the girls out to satisfy the girls. They don't have enough money or they don't even have the car here. Back in my parents' generation, all the guys will borrow money to get a car, you know, to get the girl, to get, to ask the girls out. That was the thing. But now, of course, the income is less and less and the guys are getting weaker and weaker, but they don't pretend to be a bigger person which is sometimes a good thing but sometimes it's not because they just admit they can't do anything or they don't have money and that can look really bad sometimes i want all of them to be more confident you know okay like even though you don't have enough money you don't act like one you know you at least pretend to be in a good condition and then yourself will eventually catch up to your ideal 
you know? I believe in that. That's why the honorable guys in Japan is a problem right now that they don't say anything. They just say like, oh, I don't have money, so can we like stay at home and play video games all day and then not eat out and then you make the dinner and I won't do anything. It's something like that. It's honorable guys. They date for a couple of times and girls usually wait for it, for the word. And the guys, honorable guys, don't say anything, and then he's waiting for the word, which is which is fine. But it's not the way it was before. Go back to the topic. That's why the Valentine's in Japan, I don't like it because Valentine's Day in Japan for girls to ask guys out. It's usual. It's not anything special. I think it should be opposite. Valentine's Day should be the day. Should be a one day. For guys, honorable guys to ask girls out, which I doubt that they do it anyways, but <laughs> that's the reason why I hate Japanese Valentine's Day. Well, I don't really need any gift or anything, I just like the gestures, you know? Try to do like as much as they can to impress the girls, that I think that's beautiful. And one more thing you may know is the white day in Japan. White day is on March 14th. Guys will give the girls something back. But the white day is just, just returning the things that you get. So on Valentine's Day, they, they will just sit there and then hoping they will get a few chocolates from girls. And when they do, or if they do, they just have to get something in return for a white day. It's like, okay, nothing special. <laughs> it's getting less and less, but for Valentine's Day, we have the Giri chocolate, which is like, the chocolate is not for a romantic date, but it's just to be nicer, you give chocolate to any guys that you see on Valentine's Day. That's why I don't work on Valentine's Day mostly. I don't go out. I don't want to just get candies for like everyone that I see on Valentine's Day. And the guys a little bit expect that. So I'm like, I don't want to be rude, but I don't want to be too nice. <laughs> I don't want anything in back in return anyway, so I don't, I, don't, I don't do it. So at work or something, the few of the girls get together and then chip in for one uh, box of chocolate to give it to one boss or one guy at work it's fine for girls because it costs less but for guys it's really pain in the ass because even though you get one box of chocolate it's from a lot of girls <laughs> so on white day you have to return everyone but that can cost more the other day, it was funny, I saw it on the internet that it says uh, that this lady at work get chocolate, right? Geary chocolate for a coworker guy. And then she gave it to the guy. He didn't really like sweet. So he gave it to his wife and daughter, right? He didn't even have any. And for a white day, his wife get something in return for a white day. And then she gives that to her husband. And her husband went for work on white day and he gives that back to this lady. So that means he's like a mule, you know? <laughs> he's just transporting the sweet. I thought that was funny. But yeah, that's Japanese Valentine's. They still do like Japanese way or American way. Do you have any comments or opinions? Please let me know in the comment section and I will talk to you soon. I said soon. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like this video. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.